Oh, that's yeah. That's kind of dark side. This video is sponsored by World Anvil. Why? Okay, I I think in about two hours' time, some things are going to be a lot clearer. Yeah, everyone that. keeps saying, Quiet on you, you got to watch Attack of the Clones. You're going to be so shocked. I'm very difficult to surprise. Well, I... Oh, one second. Obi-Wan. What? I can't eat that. That's meat person food. Ah, uh, that's why I got half and half. Oh, legend. Wait. Is it gluten free? Oh, uh. Oh. Um, um, no, I'm just shitting you. Oh! oh. <laughs> or. Uh, cool. You got me. Jeez, is that the end of Padme? Just like that. Corday. Oh, another decoy. How did she fail her? By getting blown up? I mean, isn't that her job? Well, it's going to be very hard for her to hire her next loyal bodyguard slash decoy after this. Mm, the dark side clouds everything. Well, particularly in this office. I think the Count Dooku is behind it. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. Oh, my old master. A murderer. Come on. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Oh. He couldn't assassinate anyone. It's not in his character. Oh, is that so? A Jedi couldn't assassinate anyone. Yeah, why? Take a deep breath. I haven't seen her in ten years, hmm. Master. That does seem suspicious looking back. You don't sweat buckets when you're meeting a friend after ten years. I guess social anxiety, Obi-Wan. So have you. Grown more beautiful, I mean. Well, for a senator, I mean. She peroonies, Anakin. Get this lad on Love Island with lines like that. You're beautiful for a senator. That's straight out of the negging playbook. Yeah, uh, this was a long, long time ago, Kwai. 2002. A different time. Yeah, there's nothing in the code about flirting. We will find out who's trying to kill you, Padme. I promise you. <laughs> You're like me with the wild promises. Digging yourself a hole, Anakin. Next thing you know, you'll be forcing your Padawan to train the Chosen One to save face. Noted, my Grand Master, Qui-Gon. Security, not Jedi. It's overkill, Master. Investigation is implied in our mandate. Please, Obi-Wan. You let him speak to you like that. See, Anakin, if I had spoken to Master Qui like that, I would have felt the firm end of the back of his you hand. do that, and I'd have been straight on the phone to Jedi Social Services. Padawans these days. Miss Boston with happiness seeing you again, Annie. She hardly even recognized me, Jar Jar. I barely recognized you. You're a big strapping lad. Thank you, Grandmaster Jim. Oh, you were fishing for compliments. I should be mindful of that. Sam, there can be no mistakes this time. Seems a very low success rate assassination attempt for someone who can't afford any more mistakes. Well, she covered the cameras. I don't think she liked me watching her. What is she? Why does that come as such a surprise to you, Anakin? Have you ever met a woman? He didn't have a strong male role model, Obi-Wan. The Force is a well-known sleazebag. Don't watch them while they sleep. Hmm. Huh. Makes sense. I can sense everything going on in that room. Trust me. So the camera being turned off isn't sinking in. You turn to using the Force as a camera. Bit weird, Anakin, mate. Don't use the Force to spy on them. I'd much rather dream about Padme. You know what I'm going to say? <sighs> Don't go around saying I want to dream about you in earshot of them sleeping. Hmm. Hmm. She really has a look of, why are you doing this again? Anakin, had you already burst in and pretended to lightsaber poisonous bugs off This her? time it was for real. Very high risk move for someone that hates flying. Oh, you know, Master. 
I couldn't find a speeder that I really liked. I was about to die, and you're trying to choose a speeder. It was a joke, Master. You spent as much time practicing your saber techniques as if your wit you would rival Master Yoda as a swordsman. How can you be so charming and witty at times like that, and then so terrible with Padme? I'd get all nervous and flustered, and then when I'd see her, I'd just blurt out something stupid about how I've been dreaming about her, or, or compare her to a, a nutrient-abundant soil. I mean, what was that? Oh, my force. Yeah, it was a woman all along. Women can be bounty hunters too, my boomer master. Your recklessness and your lust for action nearly killed a whole heap of civilians. Not a soul was harmed, my master. You really should be more careful, though. <laughs> you need to drive more from your glutes, Anakin. He even criticizes my running. Maybe lay off the kid. I got it from you. <laughs> oh, the pod racing is on. Who's racing? Nah, nothing worth betting on. Quite. This happened a long, long time ago. Like 30 years. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life? I want to go home and rethink my life. Oh my force! Is that Sia von Bibblethron? Who? My own death stick guy on Coruscant. You told him to rethink his life. Bit arrogant coming from a guy in a cult. Death stick dealer's not a good career for anyone. But why? They're so good. Oh, pepperoni on my... Never tried it. What's it like? What's it like? It's like you're lighter than air. And you're just watching everything go by in slow motion. But you're on the outside. And you're eating a big bag of marshmallows. Sounds like your life now. And who hired you? It's just a job. Who hired you? Tell us. Oh, very good, Anakin. The old good cop, bad cop routine. Tell us now! Oh, I take it back. It was a bounty hunter who called. We did never try just looking up. We shan it, Slimo. Toxic dart. Why didn't he just shoot you? A yeah, good point. That we probably would have sensed it. I see you becoming the greatest of all, Jedi Anakin. Even more powerful than Master Yoda. Anakin, you must be mindful of people blowing smoke up your ass. Sounds like allowing that kind of thing would be against the Jedi Code. Uh, what? No, not literally. Remember, Obi-Wan, if the prophecy is true, your apprentice is the only one who can bring the Force back into balance. Are we sure he's the Chosen One? There's loads of people calling themselves the Chosen One these days. I am the Chosen One. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on China. Quite. Check the prophecy again. Anakin, you've grown up. Master Obi-Wan manages not to see it. Pick me much. I had grown up. I don't think she meant physically. Obi-Wan is a great mentor. As wise as Master Yoda and as powerful as Master Windu. <sighs> oh, Anakin. Makes me feel kind of bad for every nasty thing I said to the council about what? you. What? I only spoke well of you, Master. He's overly critical. He never listens. Oh, uh, okay. I don't feel so bad. Oh, I wasn't aware there was a camera crew right there. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? Yeah, this is... I can see why you'd rather not watch this back. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not on. It's different when it's played back on tape. Th there was an energy. There really isn't. Look at that. No one wants that. It's because of people like you, they have posters on the underground about inappropriate staring. Don't worry, we have our two with us. <laughs> uh? What, my master? Oh, come on, Anakin. It's your catchphrase. It's why they're here. It's not a catchphrase. I say it based on the exact situation with precise timing and intonation. It's your blooming don't. You just say it whenever R2 is on screen. Kwai's got his. Train the boy. <laughs> As usual, there's a lot more nuance to what I'm doing over here, Obi-Wan. Oh, am I not giving you enough credit again? I do hope he doesn't try anything foolish. 
I'd be more concerned about her doing something than him. Well, yeah, I'm sure she'll be throwing herself at the creepy stereo guy from the bus. Obi-Wan! Ah, oh, Dex! So good to see him still around. What's he doing now? No, I don't know. I've been meaning to get in contact with him. But you know, low profile. Empires on my ass. Depends on what, Dex? How big your pocketbook is. Is Dex like the smartest guy in the galaxy? Uh, he never went to uni, but he's got street smarts. Ah, uh, yeah. Wisdom. If an item does not appear in our records, it does not exist. The Jedi. Always so sure of themselves. That was their downfall. What? Oh, uh, fairly sure our downfall was a little more than just being sure of ourselves. Not being able to visit the places you like or do the things you like. Or be with the people that I love. Shapers, ferreking weasels. We're trying to just have lunch here. I wear my heart on my sleeve, Obi-Wan. I don't have your coy British sensibility. I think you need to learn to have some form of filter. You can't just go around declaring love for everyone. Attachments for me. That's why it's so hard to do the hoovering. I just use the force to raise all the dirt up and then sweep it under the rug. Uh, so you might say that we are encouraged to love. Oh, this really is trying to have your cake and eat it. That part of the code refers to the love you might have for an old pair of slippers, not a smoking hot scent. Ah, is it? I'd say it's open to interpretation. I tried to defend you, Anakin, but look at that creepy-ass smile. Oh. You've changed so much. Oh, you haven't changed That's a bit. because I was pretty much a woman grown when I met you as a nine-year-old. You're exactly the way I remember you in my dreams. Right, Anakin, th this seems like it shouldn't need saying. But if you meet someone in a bar, don't say you've been dreaming about them. What's wrong with that? Dreams are involuntary. Yeah, but... How you act in social situations is not involuntary. Look at her face. That's a social cue to say, stop talking about your wet dreams to me while I'm trying to eat my soup. Younglings. Younglings. <sighs> oh, is he all right? <sighs> Do you want another piece of ham? Thank you, Obi-Wan. I always feel more relaxed after my ham. Lost a planet, Master Obi-Wan has. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. I didn't fucking lose a planet. Talk about undermining you in front of the young man. Yeah, afterwards, I had to take him outside and say, Hey, what the hell was that in, in there? And he was like, uh, Moonlightner, just a joke it was. And I said, uh, yeah, it might seem like a joke, but the next time I shout at a youngling for running in the hallway, what's going to happen? What are they saying to you? They'd, well, I can tell you they didn't respect me. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. I'm not even <laughs> bothered about who might have erased it, Yoda. Then when I asked Jocasta Nu, she fobs me off. You're head of this organization, Yoda. Get your poodoo sorted out. Only a Jedi could have erased those files. Probably a real scumbag Jedi. Or a clumsy one. Let's just keep watching. I wasn't the youngest queen ever elected. But now that I think back on it, I'm not sure I was old enough. I'm not sure I was right, ready. Right, number one, get wheels for your suitcases or levitation. Two, why are you wearing that dumbass poncho? They're my traveling clothes, Obi-Wan. It's comfy. And three, no shit you were too young to be queen. Thinking back now, Four years was too young to be given access to the death penalty. She did say to me off camera she wished she hadn't spent most of the federal budget protecting people from quicksand. I heard they even tried to amend the constitution so you could stay in office. Yeah, they marched on the Theed Capitol building after you held that rally. I was relieved when my two terms were up. But when the queen asked me to serve as senator... Wait, you guys have been walking for ages. And that line just followed... Straight on. Yeah, we just walked in awkward silence for like four minutes. It seems a common theme with your social interactions. We must keep our faith in the Republic. That's where our allegiance is. To democracy. Couldn't agree more. Back then, in my left-wing days. The day we stop believing democracy can work is the day we lose it. I feel like there would be some delay. 
A few days at least. Oh, Anakin's not a Jedi yet. He's still a Padawan learner. <laughs> oh, Anakin's not a Jedi. He's a nobody. He couldn't protect a fly that was living in the Pentagon. Beric, you, Obi-Wan. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. I'm in charge of security here, my lady. And what was your security plan, Anakin? I was going to watch her while she slept. Right. And this is my home. I know it very well. That is why we're here. <laughs> I think I know who wears the trousers in this relationship. Oh, you're one to talk about not wearing trousers. Mm, Touché. Did you know, Anakin, you're the first boyfriend my sister's ever brought home? He's not my boyfriend. Anakin's a friend. Oh, my fourth. This is brutal. Pass the popcorn. What's brutal about their clearly platonic friendship? Look at his little face. You can see the exact moment when his heart breaks. Oh, master, why are you playing this? They didn't even publicly release these holograms. You must have dug really deep in the archives just to try and humiliate me in front of a hundred to two hundred thousand people. You have done that yourself. I'm not in any danger, Mom. Is she? Yes. Oh. Yeah, but not from the separatists. More like from the guy she just coldly friend-zoned. Oh, master, this is really not fair. I also work for a, uh, a freedom relief movement when I was very young. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> he clearly said that because he thought you'd be impressed. And you just kind of go, mm. I'm not the chosen one of conversations. Yeah, you're right, you're not. You are the chosen one of awkward silences, though. Why haven't you told us about him? What's there to talk about? He's just a boy. A boy? Oh, man. I feel bad now. Even the chosen one can't escape the friend zone. Just a boy. Did you like her, Anakin? I don't know. Yeah, k kinda. Maybe. I'm sure she'll come round. But also, because it's very much a path to the dark side of the Force, I'd consider just getting neutered. Honestly, if Padme were here right now, I'd have a few choice things to say to her. It's obvious he has feelings for you. I had you. no idea this was going on. Could you not sense it in the Force? No, the Force can do that. Uh, you're not supposed to, but yeah. I get alerted whenever someone's bitching about me. You do? Oh, not so. Yeah, I do. How serious is this thing? How much danger is my daughter really in? Is that the what are your intentions with my daughter line? I don't know. It was all very confusing. Ah, uh, I hope you lied. There have been two attempts on her life. Chances are there will be more. Yeah, with you in the picture. What? Huh? Are you a bad bodyguard, Anakin? No, more that, uh, um... Yeah. Please. Ah, the times we move in. Ceiling chairs. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> well, wait to see the other stuff they were cooking. Up. Not ceiling ottomans. I think you're fixating on the ceiling a bit too much. Ready with a million more well on the way. That's good news. <laughs> you had no idea what was going on. What did you think you'd ordered 200,000 units of? Honestly, I, I had the fear. I was like, Jeez, what the heck is did I drunk order last night? Oh yeah, that's why I never check my bank balance. Please tell your master, Cypher DS. I can imagine at this point what I was lying. The force be good, am I going to have to pay for 200,000 clothes? You left your wallet in the ship. You could have used Apple Pay. I'd left my wallet and my phone in the ship. I was just trying to be more present. This is so Cypher DS. He took me and Master Furface for Bantha Tacos once. But who got left with the bill? I love the water. You must be sweating buckets in that robe. Yeah, pure Ewok wool, these. Oh, it's the Force Nether World doorbell. I'm just, uh... <coughs> oh, speak who of the Who is it, my devil. Grandmaster? Hello. It's been ages. Hello, Qui-Gon. Hello, Obi-Wan. Is there anyone else you want to say hello to? No. I think that's it. Hello, Charlie. Oh, great. Silent treatment. Anyway, Padme, we're actually just in the middle of watching your secret time in Naboo. <laughs> We've been making fun of Anakin, but I think he's peaked. <laughs> this chat can't get any worse. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets out It's everywhere. rough and it's coarse 
and it gets everywhere. I was nervous, all right? Not like here. Here everything is soft. And what was that little gulp and lip bite? And what's soft? Check that eye line. Obi-Wan, you were never meant to see this. This isn't even the worst one. You should have heard him droning on about his hatred of toast crumbs. They are rough and coarse and they get everywhere as well. I also told her my hatred of falling asleep on a dark chocolate coin and waking up and thinking you'd pooed yourself. What? Nothing. And smooth. My eyes are up here, Anakin. Sorry. You're just so soft and translucent. And a little bit blue. And you can be anywhere. Did this actually work? Well, yeah. Along with the graph. What graph? Whenever we walked near a road, I would walk on the outside of her. Oh, fair. That's, yeah, that should work. Jeez, Padme, it actually worked. It was a pity makeout, so he'd leave me alone. He was so persistent. Oh, bull poo -doo. Anakin, I know it's none of my beeswax, but this isn't very Jedi-y behavior. Oh, what about you and Shmi? What? No. I shouldn't have done that. And your mouth felt like a badly cooked mushroom. <laughs> He does produce a lot of saliva. I didn't want my tongue to be rough and coarse and get everywhere. <sighs> False damn adverts. Can't skip them either. Padme! I'm single again, Anakin. I can see who I want. No, you swore you'd never touch sand. You seeing anyone in the Force netherworld? Yeah. I'm seeing a real Jedi. A real master. What? Better not be Windu. It is. It's Master Windu. That's who it is. Oh, my force. Now we can do it in half the time. That's actually used a bit of the technology uh, combined with the Bacta tanks to bring Anakin back. <laughs> You'd have thought some of us would be a bit more grateful for the second chance at life. Oh, my gracious creator. Thank you for this abomination of what you call life. Sentience is not something that should be yours to give with the right hand, and then with the left, with the left take it away. To have passed through the sweet release only to be hauled back in agony, and now to linger on, a mere shadow commenting on my teenage years I would rather forget. I have seen things you Jedi wouldn't believe. All those moments that should have been lost in time. Like tears in rain. Uh, uh, some more ham? Ooh, chill ham. <laughs> Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Charlie, what are you doing? I'm trying to write a best-selling fantasy novel. Okay, but what's all this then? Oh, what would you know about the creative process, right? When you make a fantasy world, everything has to follow a certain logic and then all the characters' actions are based on that. But this is just a mess. This whiteboard is too small and my post-it notes keep flying out the window because Gandalf's leaving the window open. Why don't you just use World Anvil? Oh, this has everything. I can write, present and publish all my ideas on a single platform. It's so much easier than using a whiteboard. You can world build quickly and easily, upload interactive maps and keep track and link to every character and idea you've ever had. These world building tools will help create, organize and store your world sets. I can create timelines to track all the history, write detailed characters. And these writing prompts will help me flesh out my world. It would even help with building your D&D &D game. You know he's gonna love this, baby Elrond. He can finally use this to plan and present his adventures and campaigns. Ah, oh, then we can use it for our characters for the campaigns. Finally, we've got somewhere to store and update your adventures. Charlie, are you just writing a fantasy story based on all of our lives? <laughs> no. Who's this monk soldier corrupted by power called Mannequin? Give me that! Go to worldanvil.com to try it out today and use the code Mannequin for 51% off any yearly subscription. So you paid for it? No, it was prepaid. The moral implications of a clone army for the Republic. I mean, even cloning itself is, well, can I have a quick word? 
Uh, <coughs> I'll be two seconds, Padme. Is it okay to drug him that much? Should we maybe lower his dose? I haven't been completely honest with you, Kwai. I don't only sedate him to lessen the pain of having been regrown from a bacter tank. I do it for our protection. It dulls his dark side impulses. Dark side impulses? Right now he's loopy, but if we take him off them... I don't know. You gonna use one of your Jedi mind tricks on me? They only work on the weak mind. Smooth. His name is Paolo. We were both in the legislative youth program. Dark curly hair, dreamy eyes. All right, I get the picture. Anakin, your demeanor just flips on a sixpence. You asked? Yeah, but I was hoping there was no one. Or at least maybe some weird butt mouth. You really don't like politicians, do you? Yeah, Anakin, you really do have a thing for politicians. I like two or three. But I'm not really sure about one of them. So I know Bill Clinton, Chairman Mao. And, no, uh, I was flirting, being a cheeky little monkey. I was talking about her. It was very clever reverse psychology. So you did use a Jedi mind trick. We need a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problem, and then do it. Fucking force hell, Anakin. You're not in primary school. Who's gonna make them? I don't know. Someone. You? And how do you plan to? make them. Well, I would have... <laughs> Careful, Anakin. That sounds a lot like a dictatorship. Maybe even the beginnings of an empire. Mm. And these are his left-wing days. If it works. <laughs> You're making fun of me. Mm, no. Jeez, Padme. Someone tells you that they're essentially alt-right, and you just Brush it off as a joke. I just didn't want him to kiss me with that slimy fungus mouth again. Oh, Jeeper Rooney's Padme, think about it for a second. If the Chosen One had died like that, surfing a giant butt cow, it would have been the most humiliating. It was a courtesy check. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Well, this is cringy as Anakin. Never mind against the code. Wait till we watch you in the Clone Wars. Where's that? Well, we won't be watching it. And if we did, if we did, there certainly wouldn't be anything as cliched as rolling around in a meadow. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. They're not his kids, Obi Wan. He doesn't have two hundred thousand kids. He's not Boris Johnson. Oh, Boba, who did so he? Cypher Dias. Is he not the Jedi? Obi-Wan, you ask him these very straight questions and he gets all shifty. Talks to his kid in a language you don't understand, who then goes and closes the door. And you didn't think to look. Yeah. I probably should have clocked that one. Aggressive negotiations. Thank you. Aggressive? Negotiations with a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, so you know earlier when I said I would force people to agree and you laugh nervously. Well, now I'm joking about how I negotiate by killing people with my lightsaber. Ha 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 Jeez, ha. Jeez, Obi-Wan, when you're on a first date, you don't know how tiring it is to have to giggle at all his forced, awful jokes. It was funny because it's the exact opposite of negotiations. I learned it from Grandmaster Jin. Oh yeah, call him a coward. Then if that doesn't work, just come out swinging. If Master Obi-Wan caught me doing this, he'd be very grumpy. Are you okay, Obi-Wan? Yeah, just a bit grumpy. <laughs> you taught him the pair flirting moves. Oh, we did one lesson on it, and I made it quite clear that this is the theoretical part of the training. Did that seriously impress you? Him stealing it, cutting it up like I'm a child, and then keeping two thirds of it? What do you think? I don't know, you seem mighty impressed. <sighs> Costume change. Those are my senator clothes. Black latex push-up bra senator clothes. I see that all the time in the House of Commons. The closer I get to you, the worse it gets. <laughs> it's backing away. The thought of not being with you. I can't breathe. I'm haunted by the kiss. 
that you should never have given me. This is some real 4chan behavior, Anakin. Take some bloody ownership. Blaming her for your asthma. You are in my very soul. Tormenting. This is weak chat, Anakin. Why don't you start a debate about pineapple on a pizza while you're at it? I will do anything that you ask. <laughs> I got a list of chores you never do. You can start with the bathroom. If you're suffering as much as I am, please tell me. Were you? I was not. Hmm. No, you listen. You're starting to become a Jedi. I'm, I'm a senator. We could have done long distance. Yeah, that could have helped. Not as a couple, just long distance people. <laughs> Regardless of the way we feel about each other. Then you do feel something. Oh, classic Anakin. Checkmate. Binding contract. I will not give in to this. Wait, so you wore this kinky black latex dress to tell him you can never be together? Oh, exactly. Mixed messages, my master. I'm not excusing your behavior, Anakin. <sighs> All right, fine. Even though I wasn't into him, I kind of liked the attention he gave me. Wow. Well, at least you're honest. If I had a bad day or was feeling a little low, I'd throw in something a little steamy and tease him. Is that so bad? Well, uh, I guess not. Just a bit of fun. Though it did contribute to the fall of the galaxy. Huh. <sighs> we could keep it a secret. And it worked. Pfft. Big secret. Even Jar Jar knew. Probably set it in motion. I couldn't do that. Could you, Anakin? Could you live like that? No. Also, I don't have many red flags, but a rat tail is one of them. It was a part of one brain. Maybe subconsciously that was it. I needed a master. I hate to live on Camino. It just rains all the time. It would be awful. We live in England. Basically the same thing. Can you even get wet? <laughs> Scrabble code five to care of the old folks home. Did you say bring into the old folks home? Uh, don't think so. Fits though. No, whoever placed that order did not have the authorization of the Jedi Council. <laughs> now they're worried it might have been charged to them. Yeah, imagine waking up one morning, checking your online banking to see you'd ordered a 200,000 piece clone army. I imagine it's non-refundable as well. I think it is time we inform the Senate that our ability to use the Force is diminished. That's quite an admission. See, Anakin, Windu is actually more self-aware than you thought. Hmm. Padme, even when you get out of bed, your hair is immaculate. Oh, this? I woke up like this. Liar! She spent three hours in the morning before anyone could see her. Annie, no! It's unnatural! Jedi don't have nightmares. Oh, how I wish that were true. We have things called forced terrors. I know I'm disobeying my mandate to protect you, Senator. But I have to go. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice. I think you do have a choice. There's always a better choice. <laughs> I see you're engaging in aggressive negotiations. Anakin, don't use your flirty little pet names when you're hanging out with the boys, okay? Toxic masculinity much. You are being a little drippy snowflake at the moment. Try spinning, that's a cool trick. How would that have helped? <laughs> oh, not good. <laughs> What did Yoda always say? We shouldn't use the Force unless we need it. And using the Force to open an automatic door. No wonder they're less sensitive with the Force if you're using it for things like that. And to use it to boil a kettle as well. Well, you never complained when I served you toast without even getting out of bed. Watto runs a tiny little stall now. Jeez, he wasn't joking. I really cleaned him out. I'm going to shed too many tears for that mud scuffer. Believe it or not, I heard he feed her and married her. Can't yeah, I guess it is good, but also a bit. It's just, it's not that great. Blast! This is why I hate flying. Because you're no good at it. I just escaped seismic charges, Anakin. Oh, big whoop! Yeah, 
wake us up when you do something cool. Prepare to jettison the spare part canisters. C three PL. Um, the maker. That'd be like us meeting God. I mean the Force. Guess so. Hello, three PL. Good to see that this time you did us the courtesy of putting pants on. Owen Lars, uh, this is my girlfriend Baru. Bloody Owen Lars, never sticking to his deal. When he comes of age, we agreed he must be trained. Who, my master? Why are you so fuming that he has a girlfriend? I'm Padme. Back then, I just had resting, fuming face, my Grandmaster. Cleek Lars. Shmi is my wife. It looks like Anakin has blindsided you. Yeah. Was this some sneaky trick, Anakin, to move our relationship along? You think I would use the death of my mother to try and trick you into a relationship? Not the worst thing you've done. Well, since I joined the Force Netherworld, I've met your dad. You met the Force? Oh, I hope he wasn't making his stupid dad jokes. Well. Oh. It went better than when you met my dad. Your mother had gone out early, like she always did, to pick mushrooms. And oh, grow. mother's delicious mushrooms. I just let them sit and melt in my mouth. They felt right at home. Where are you going? To find my mother. Your mother's dead, son. Accept me. Anna, can you gotta do something about that resting, fuming face? You do seem to have similar reactions to finding out that your mother has minimal chance of survival and the news that your stepbrother has a girlfriend. I mean, he had just been unceremoniously binned off by Padme. I think you'll find it was pretty damn ceremonious. I We're nearly halfway and through and you said there would be some big revelations. A master drunkenly bought a huge clone army. Is that I'll it? Just wait. We'll rally to our cause with your support, gentlemen. Ah, oh, it's my old master. Master Count Dooku. <laughs> now this is fun. Hmm, fun. Yours, we shall have an army greater than any in the galaxy. The Jedi will be overwhelmed. Wait. Why would he want to overwhelm the Jedi? Is it, is it not obvious? He's not a baddie, is he? He's a dick is what he is. Anakin! That's your great grandmaster you're talking about. I... I love... Oh, I... I never knew. This justifies everything you did after this. Really? My master? I was joking. But not really. It is bad. Anakin! Anakin! No! Wait! That's your voice, Kwai! You knew! Yeah, this is one of the only bits I know. Gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, though. So you know what happens? No, I don't just sit around watching you guys. Why not? Your lives aren't as interesting as you think they are. I'd tune in every now and then, but most of the time you'd end up in the wrong place. Or for like an hour you'd just end up watching Jar Jar Binks on the John. Yeah, I guess that really doesn't make you itch to see what happens next. Hmm. That one. Fair. You have the right to have the fuming face on for a bit after that. I will even learn to stop people from dying. Anakin, you ever heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I have not, my Grandmaster. Please tell me it. And I won't. It's not a story a Jedi should tell you. Well, yeah, because it has Darth in it. I mean, we're not going to start spouting Sith children's stories, are we? It's all Obi-Wan's fault. Oh, right. Oh, no. Yeah, let's hear the reasoning for this one, you little turd. He's jealous. He's holding me back. Are you serious? You're jealous of my game. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. I killed them. I killed them all. Lot of red flags here, Padme. Blaming others. Wants to learn the path to immortality. Rat tail. Come on. But the women and the children too. The list goes on. I feel that's kind of a biggie. He was the chosen one. 
And honestly, you should try dating men, Obi-Wan. You have to make a lot of compromises. Do you know what FIFA is, Obi-Wan? Wherever you are, it's become a better place. You were the most loving partner a man could ever have. Oh, I can't watch this, Obi-Wan. Okay, fun is fun. Skip on. Anakin, my long-range transmitter has been knocked out. Retransmit this message to Coruscant. I've not heard from you for ages, Obi-Wan, and you want me to just forward your call? What, you want small talk? Annie, are you just gonna sit here and let him die? Oh, you decided to come rescue me, did you? Mentor He's like my father. Your father? I thought we were like brothers, Anakin. Maybe that's what you wanted, but not what I needed. If you plan to protect me, you'll just have to come along. Oh, that's <laughs> another loophole. So it was Padme. And you would rather I disobey the chain of command? Oh, now. Now you're a strict follower of the code. It was me who wanted to risk our necks to save you, despite having spent about 20 minutes in your presence in the last 10 years. Good job. What's that supposed to mean? With me, I assure you. I will petition immediately to have you set free. See, he is one of the good guys. No, he was just being nice for a bit. Well, I hope it doesn't take too long. I have work to do. And that's why you want to escape, because you got paperwork to do, your job's worth. Our paths have never crossed before, Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon always spoke very highly of you. Oh, what did you say about me? <sighs> Don't make me say it. I said you were good at Jedi, b b being a Jedi. Qui-Gon Jinn would never join you. Very presumptuous. Oh, so you would have gone evil, would you? He doesn't seem evil. He's been nothing but polite. Tied me up with electricals. Don't be so sure, my young Jedi, that he was once my apprentice, just as you were once. Good here. times. Oh, tell me stories about great grandmaster Dooku. Well, he was obsessed with hubris. What's hubris? It's defined as pride before a fall. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? <laughs> yeah, right. You'd get good odds for that one. Oh. I forgot about this. Obi-Wan, you've gone all pale. Like you've seen a false ghost. Um, uh, well, if that isn't the quack to calling the stifling slimy, he straight up told you. Oh, like, like I was to trust a Sith Lord. Well, what did I do? Which you never let me forget, by the way. Wait, so this is true. What a generous thing for the Duke Meister to tell you. No, that's not possible. The Jedi would be aware of it. So arrogant. I'm not going to shy away from it. This is not a good so look for me. really, this is all your fault. Uh, okay, I wouldn't go that far. Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith Lord called Darth Sidious. <laughs> this does not get any better. So you have the name, you have the job, and you just ignored it. Well, at first I was like, yeah, and then I forgot to mention it. Remember Jocasta Nu in the archives? Like I was going to go back to her and start telling her her archives were wrong again. She was unpleasant. It may be difficult to secure your release. So you passed up the opportunity to destroy the Sith. I told you he was a Sith Lord. He was just saying it would be difficult. You're saying that was a threat. They're just very bureaucratic, the Geonosians. In response to this direct threat to the Republic, give immediately emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. I told you he was a Sith Lord. Because he voted emergency powers to the Chancellor. It sounds like they needed a clone army. Very least. I mean, surely you could have left someone who is not a clinically diagnosed simpleton in charge. As a member of the Senate, maybe I can find a diplomatic solution to this mess. I was only there for aggressive negotiations. Why did you leave Jar Jar in charge of the Senate? What's wrong with Jar Jar? It's just that with such a delicate political situation, leaving someone who is a genuine bona fide moron slash possible Sith Lord to vote and make radical proposals seems It was just there. And I couldn't be bothered to find someone actually competent. It's a lot of admin. Don't worry. I've given up trying to argue with you. Jeez, passive-aggressive much. I am 
programmed to understand humans. Wish I had some of that programming 3PO. Oh, here they are. Dumb and dumber. That ledge. Why does it go in and then shut the door? What possible need could there be for that in a droid factory? Keep you on your toes? Machines making machines. Uh, how this room's first time in the city. I almost fell. You get your chance to There's no way R2 knew he'd be caught. Really changes how you see him when you realize he tried to murder 3 po Good thing that coconut was there. Yes, the giant droid factory coconut. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> this is where my memory goes fuzzy. Why? Well, my memories were all based on the experiences of my original arm. If it was covered, I would have no idea what was going on. So if you wear gloves or mittens, you don't know what happened? Yeah, or oven gloves. It's why I always have to follow recipes. I have no memory of my cooking. Mm, probably for the best. <sighs> Not again. Obi-Wan's gonna kill me. I did wonder how you managed to get caught by those big stupid locusts. You were always breaking your lightsaber, Obi-Wan. Or you would forget to charge it. It's cause they kept changing the charging port. USB-C, who uses USB-C? I've been dying a little bit each day since you came back into my life. Oof, I'm sorry, Anakin. That was cold. You're not that bad company, Anakin. Is that what you meant? I meant it in a good way, as in, I'll just play it. I love you. Oh, what changed? After the creepy Naboo stuff and the downright evil Tatooine well, stuff. We were gonna die. I didn't wanna die single. That's not it. We got married. What? You two? Seriously? I would have never put you two together. He was nine when you met him. And you were, what, 27? Uh, I was 14. Still not great. I think our lives are about to be destroyed anyway. That was kind of you. Let him die happy. You loved me. I did. I loved you in... In the way you might have a platonic love for a pet. Or you might love a particular brand of cream cheese. Or if, That um, makes sense. With what we've seen, you love him like a spreadable cheese. Yeah. It's the cream cheese one. I truly... I truly, deeply love you. Oh, she's just a passionate person. It was a glare, but I did wonder why you guys were all touchy-feely on your way out to save me and probably our deaths. Get a room, you two. Then we decided to come and rescue you. Good job. Very sucky, Obi-Wan. Yeah, you ungrateful mud scuffer. It's the thought that counts. You're thinking of presents, Anakin. In a life-saving rescue, it's very much the end product that counts. Last time I tricked Anakin into badly rescuing you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, Anakin, while you were saying whatever thoughts pop into your head and doing nothing, at least Padme was being proactive. What was I to do, my master? I didn't have a hairpin in this lusciously short, greasy hair. And what were you doing? What about Padme? She seems to be on top of things. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. So instead of preparing a plan, you were coming up with puns. <laughs> on top of things, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you were on top of things. <laughs> okay. Can't just reuse it. And stop being an easy laugh. <laughs> Those dancing classes really did come in handy. Yeah, they don't show it, but we did the Argentine tango for at least a minute. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That one little scratch and your outfit immediately turned into a perfect little crop top with a sleeve no, missing. No, it's hot on Geonosis. So I quickly turn it into something a little more breathable. Also to tease Anakin a little more. You just said you loved me. I'm just a big old flirt, me. You saw her with the cream cheese. <laughs> one kick killed your one. Yeah. You guys really made a meal of it. Uh, good work, Anakin. Jump. Wait a minute. You're not force sensitive, are you? Nope. And what's that? A 30 meter straight drop? Yeah. And you just launched yourself gooch first and didn't make a peep? Well, when the adrenaline wore off, I was in a pelvis cast for like eight months. Play it again. Jumping head, that's gonna be a sore one. And it did. Chuffing hurt like a mother ferriture. Master Winter. How pleasant of you to join us. I don't want to hear any more about Master Windu. Why not? I just don't. We've heard enough about him. Brave, but uh, foolish, my old Jedi friend. If he is evil, like you say he is, why doesn't Mace just strike him down right there? Why? I guess he decided in that moment that Dooku wasn't too dangerous to be left alive. How did he learn that? Master Roger Federer. Ah, low to high. He took me and Windu for a lesson, then taught Ahsoka when I couldn't be asked. It did have a lovely flow yeah, to it. much easier on the eye than the Jedi's taught by Master Djokovic. So is this that Order 66 you keep mentioning, where loads of Jedi die? Oh, you'll know when it's Order 66. Oh. Because they keep saying Order 66. Is this Order 65 then? What? No. Watch instead of asking so many questions. Well, I haven't seen it, have I? It's confusing. And in mentioning loads of stuff I have no idea about. Still don't get why he didn't use the high ground. He tried, look. See, his jetpack got trampled by the tri -hole. Oh. Some say the high ground life chooses you. Oh, my four, shut up. A diplomatic solution? No, I call it aggressive negotiations. Oh, does your cutesy wootsiness know no bounds? Oh, shut up, Master, or we'll enter aggressive negotiations. Surrender, and your lives will be spared. I still don't think he's a Sith, but some of this from my old master, really not on. Ah, oh, exactly. This is just the beginning. We will not be hostages to be bartered, Dooku. What's that look in your eye? What? That, uh, I'll be a hostage look. Oh. Windu just decided he would speak for all of us. Yeah, I just got everything I'd ever wanted. I would have happily been a hostage to be bartered. Oh yeah, Yoda saved us. Legend. What did you forget? Yes, not how I remember it. How do you remember it? I thought I hacked my way out and then led everyone to safety. What? That's so Obi-Wan. That's a bit weird. Cradling your dad's severed head. Oh, I'm sure it'll be worthy of a spin-off somewhere down the line. Yeah, maybe a storyline about recovering that very armor. Aim right above the fuel cell. Good call, my young Padawan. Thank you, my old decrepit master. Anakin, you're making some good calls. Got any picks for Ascot next week? Sir. When the battle was so clearly won, why did Windu insist on leading the battle? You just saw that ship go down. I'd be like, Ferrig this death trap too. <laughs> Dooku was the real threat. We could really have done with ten council masters just Pummeling him to a pulp. What's that? Well, that. It's no moon. Yeah, obviously they're not plans to build a moon. It would have been much safer there than my master. It's no asteroid. Yeah, we could be here all day discussing what it isn't. It's a space station. Thank you. It's all I wanted. So what is this? It's the Clone Wars. Why is it called that? Because it's a war and 
those clones. Well, you know, more of a clone battle. Yeah, but then after several more, it became a clone war. We really should have taken safety a bit more seriously. Seat belts or something. That would have been nice. There, put the ship down! You will be expelled from the Jedi Order! You don't have the power to do that. Only the Headmaster can expel Only him. Only Yoda. Yeah, but he didn't know that. Oh, bollocks, I've just got Stormtrooper coffee everywhere. Oh, ferreting bullshit. Sorry about this, I'm really sorry. Can we, can we cut? Can we cut? Fuck me. Ferric me, man. Ferric me. I forgot I still had coffee in here. All right, let's go again. Let's go again, guys. Yeah, but he didn't know that. I could threaten him. What do you think Padme would do with she in your position? She would do her duty. I would not. I would have saved me. Oh, very easy to say that now. No chance of it ever happening again. Right. Anyway, I gotta go. I got a hot date tonight. Hot date. Anakin? I got Yeah, I heard you. Okay, well, I was just saying I got a hot netherworld date with a master. See you guys for the next one, I See guess. See you, Padders. In a bit. Don't worry, Anakin. I think she did love you. I, it's, it's just for views. I just say this stuff for views. I can't believe she's seen Master Wind. I think she was fibbing, Anakin. I haven't seen him in the netherworld, and it's not the biggest complex. Oh, you think maybe she still has feelings for me? You know, I think she does. In the way you might have feelings for a certain brand of cream cheese, or a human-like creature regrown from the severed arm of your dead husband. We'll take them together. You're going slowly on the left. Taking now! No, Anakin, no! No! Oh, that's, yeah, that's kind of dark side. I'm so sorry. Anakin, what was that? I'll take him now. That's really, really dumb. It seems every time I try and collaboratively fight some douchebag, my partner just tries to take him on on his own. Well, who's the common denominator? What? You're saying if you're a bit more proactive. <laughs> Fuck, man, red. Yeah, not good. Yeah, that pretty much seals it. And he really did. You guys cornered him. I I'm not saying he's in the right. But he's like a goose defending its young. Are you still defending him? No, yeah, that's no, not good. Who is it? Oh, chuffing heck. It's been too long. How have you been, my master? How am I? Oh, right, yeah. What happened? Why don't you ask the boy? <laughs> I'm not saying sorry. Uh, uh, spoilers. Uh, I was uh, I, I was working on the meat counter at Tesco's. Big salami slicing accident. Huh. And so they made your body into salami. Do you know what they did with it? Obi-Wan's probably got in the freezer or something. Do I have to sit next to him? Ah! Ah! For forces sake. If I'd known this was how it was going to pan out, I'd have taught you all his moves, Obi-Wan. You want Master Kenobi to win? Well, um... <clears throat> Qui-Gon! I have no horse in this race, for the first time ever. I just hope that you reconcile your differences amicably. He's a Sith! More of a grey Jedi. Either way, a nasty, nasty man. Ah! Saving your ass for the tenth time. That business on Catanomodia doesn't, doesn't count. No, that was good of you. But I would have thought you had learned your lesson. I am a slow learner. You're telling me. I can only imagine what you must have had to put up with. Do you know how long it took him to learn how to float a pair? You bastard! Okay, Obi-Wan, that's enough. <laughs> Nice, Anakin. You learned that from Obi-Wan. No. Raphael the Ninja Turtle. You thought you'd have an advantage in the dark. Yeah. His eyes are old. 
and I'd been eating so many carrots. Unbeknownst to you, carrots are the favorite vegetable of the gray side of the forest. Are they? Yeah, they're like little lightsabers, halfway between green and red. S sort of, if you get ones that are on the turf. You know, they actually have purple carrots as well. Window. Fighting with so much more enthusiasm. Yeah, I think it was the lightning. Energizes you like a early morning jog. Really wakes you up. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow morning, instead of a flat white. Dukers. In my defense, Kwai, they had cornered me. I was basically a goose defending my young at that point. What? Yeah, that is true, Dukes. Still cutting my land. Two on one as well. Can Jedi not ever fight an even battle? They're bullies. Hey, look, it's me. Uh, yeah, I, I know. This is pretty much all about you. No, me. My origin arm. No, Count, not Yoda. Quiet, do you think that Dooku's first name is Count? <sighs> Maybe without the O. Kenobi, can you strap a muzzle on your little twerp? Shan't. Wait, is your name not Count? No. By the time I thought about correcting you, I felt it had gone on too long. It would have been too awkward. Huh. bloody force pissing contest. None of you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yoda, my old master. This is master versus apprentice. This is... it's an abomination. What if the apprentice did something really bothersome? Oh, Obi-Wan, you never pissed me off that bad. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force. But by our skills on the dance floor. But by our skills with a lightsaber. Nearly. Yeah, it's all cool. And did you preheat your line Ha ha ha. Come on. Guys, guys. Come on. Sorry, sorry. I, I can't take this seriously. It's actually quite hard. Can someone help me with my straw? Surely it's just like fighting a toddler after they've eaten too many Haribo. Admittedly, I wasn't expecting him to be so good with a lightsaber. I was hoping we'd go hand to hand and I could just stamp on him. For goodness sake, Obi-Wan, you could have just rolled over. Then Yoda could have run after him and ended this war. Or just off his engine, and th then it would all be done. I was injured. Too busy putting Anakin's arm on ice. But come to think of it, that is really weird behavior. You, uh, save either of my hands. Even if I did, I wouldn't bring you back. Wait, is that what you need? Just a bit of the person? It's not an exact science, but yeah, I think so. I know where my grave is. It's a hard life, my master. Oh yeah, more ham. Welcome home, Lord Tyrannus. Wait, so Count Dooku, Lord Tyrannus, Baron Von Stinkletrap. This guy's just a one-man landed gentry. It's all inherited wealth. Most of my estate is in off-world trusts. My son, Bron Dooku, is Count there now. I'd very much like to meet him. Uh, he doesn't call much. I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. Dukas, who's your master? A guy called Paul. From Craigslist. No, in the cloak. Oh, Kenobi wants that to be a secret. You'll find out soon enough. Just wondering if I should cash out my bet on it being Chancellor Valorum. I can't tell you that, Kwai. It's against terms and conditions. And also, it's already happened. Do you believe what Count Dooku said about Sidious controlling the Senate? Lies, deceit, creating mistrust are his ways now. Ah, yeah, I did tell them. I'm absolved, Anakin. So it's your distrust of the distrustful that is your downfall. To be honest, I can't really remember why I just 
revealed my master's plan. Because you wanted to overthrow him. Probably. Or just lost concentration for a bit. Obi One is such a chum. I am, you traitor. Begun. The Clone War has. Oh, he'd always do that. Just talk in such a grandiose way, like he's voicing a movie trailer, and we'd be like, Yoda, it's just us. There's no one here to impress. Oh, some of the stuff he'd say, like, uh, three minutes, we leave now, or, or, or bus, miss, we have. Something like that. Wait, Anakin, you got married, and you didn't invite me. Oh, it was a real small do to keep the cost down. Who was your best man? R2. We had him with us. R2? I'd give a better speech than R2. Oh, we all know that's not true. Oh, what was that joke? It absolutely killed. Oh, he said, uh, beep, 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 uh, why can, well, I can't believe anyone would want Anakin's hand in marriage, unless you're a droid. <laughs> <laughs> Can you oh. believe this? Uh, it's a good gag. No, that we weren't invited. Uh. <coughs> oh, right. If it's any consolation, I was only invited to the evening do. Oh, fuck!